Hello! Human Flea here back with another episode of Disc Gaia 4. Where last left off, we finished off the flashback episode, and as a result of completing it, we have unlocked Tyrant Valva Torres as a playable character. As you can see, I level he started off at level 100, and I level grinded him up to 152, so he could catch up with everyone else. So right now, the only ones being left in the dirt is Amizel and Artina. I always find it hard to level up the healers, but something I did with Tyrant Valvatore is, is that he came with a few pieces of equipment, so I decided to make him a spear guy and regular Vows continue to be a sword guy, but I gave him the Dyneslife. Dyneslife? The sword Tyrant Valvatore had, the big golden one. So yeah, I switched it up for a bit of diversity, but with one DLC out of the way, we can now make our way to the Parallel Worlder Time Traffic Shop. Wait, 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 back up. I feel like I could take her. Welcome to the Time Traffic Shop. Would you like to go to the Fuka and Desco show? <sighs> yes, yes I would. One dark night, a blood-red moon rises in the Hades sky. Oh god. The curtain of tragedy opens under the glow of the ominous yet beautiful red moon. This is when Prinny's ascend. In the name of Death Amizel, I hereby deliver thy soul to the red moon! Oh, Amizel's an actual reaper now, that's awesome! What about Fuka? This was explained in the first one. <sighs> They actually all seem like pretty good answers. What are you talking about? I knew you were crazy to begin with, but have you finally lost your mind completely? No, she just has no idea what the hell being a printy is really about. You're the one who's out of your mind. Desko can't believe you're attacking these helpless printies from behind. You monster! You demon! You dead! Yes, he is. Well, I am a demon and death. That's my point. As death, it is my duty to reap the souls of the prinnies who have paid off their sins and to send them to the red moon. Oh god, are we going to have a red moon level? We've already been to the regular moon. I'm just doing my duty, understand? It's my J-O-B. Now go away and leave me alone. Well, it's good to see that after all... Everything they've been through, they're such great friends and allies. That's Death's job? Oopsie! Big Sis, we got it all wrong! We're the ones who were getting pissed off for no reason! Oh, I was actually expecting to have to fight at that amusal. Which would be useful in my case, because I seriously underleveled him. <laughs> Reaping the pretty souls and sending them to the Red Moon. Fuka. No. Oh, I think I remember a pretty telling me something about that a long time ago. I completely forgot about it until now. Yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me to see if she hadn't paid off all of her sins. How could you forget about it? This pertains to you too, you know. Oh, now we're going back to the I'm not a pretty argument. Okay, I read that as I'm not a fucking pretty. <laughs> uh -huh. Sure. Okay. Whatever. This is all a dream, and you're not dead. I think they finally realize it's easier to stop trying to convince her and just go along with it. So can you leave me alone now? I've got things to do. If we're done talking. Wait, what are you two doing here anyway? Even if the Red Moon is out, it doesn't mean anything to Prinnies who haven't paid off their sins. Me and Desko were just checking out the moon. We've never seen a Red Moon like that before. Yes, and then we saw a bunch of Prinnies wandering around. So we followed them here. Hmm, 
I see. Well, you guys didn't mean any harm. So where's the fight? I gotta get back to work now, so go home and go to bed. Where is her home? Because... Seriously, what are the living arrangements in the netherworld? I don't mind leaving you alone, but answer one thing for me. What happens to the souls of the Prinnies after they're sent off to the Red Moon? They are cleansed of their sins from their past life, and the purified souls are sent back to the human world. Oh, dear God. Self-proclaimed. Back to the human world? Does that mean... They start a brand new life as a human. God damn it. New life? Seriously? I feel like the one of the main... I feel like there's going to be a big dramatic conflict at the end where Fuka wants to do this. But forgetting until it's almost accomplished that if she goes, she can't take Desko with her. I'm not sure whether or not Desko was sent to Hades directly or if she actually died, but either way, she's not a printy. So is that rumor true? You know, about that thing that makes wishes come true? Wait, wishes? Wishes come true? What do you mean? Does it have anything to do with purifying sin? I seriously don't see how a measle couldn't just kill them while they're talking. Oh, I see. Okay. I know you don't want to say it out loud, and I don't want to get you in trouble. Oh, God. He has no idea what they're talking about, and she's not going to tell him. <sighs> what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. How is that different from usual? Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Huh? Now she's laughing about something? Are you sure she's okay? I don't think she was ever okay. What's the matter, big sis? Have you really lost your mind? I questioned when she had it. No way! I finally figured it out! My ticket to waking up from this nightmare! Oh, for the love of... Alright, let's start strategizing, Desko. Desko has no idea what's going on, but she will do anything for Big Sis. I bet she hasn't figured anything out. And this is how Fuka's epic plan to awaken from her nightmare began. What kind of plan did Fuka come up with after their intensive meeting? the most money in the netherworld you've got to know right from when you were stealing all that money oh wait i forgot didn't they have like a version of fort knox oh, i forgot what the pun was as i'm quite damn sure they had one how many times do i have to tell you i was only collecting the money that was supposed to be going to celestia if you use the word stealing to describe my actions one more time i will slap you with a big fine what good is... Anyway, the area with the most money. I've already collected from Fort Knockers, so right now... Ah, Fort Knockers. How do I forget something like that? I suppose the Mint would be your best bet. It's the place that makes all the currency that's circulating around the netherworld. The Mint? That actually sounds like what the building would be called here. I don't know what it is called, but meh. Know about things like that all of a sudden. Yeah, good point. Why do you care about money? Big Sis is trying to gather a lot of money to pay for her sins. <sighs> if you heard that, that was me face palming. Because I'm fairly certain that is not how you pay off a sin. Well, then again, it's this Gaia, so who knows? What? Then that means you're finally admitting that you died! You're finally able to accept I it. love how everyone's surprised by this, except it's not true. I'm so proud of you, Fuka. It takes a lot of courage to accept your own death. Yeah, I think she she would know. Ugh, how many times do I have to say this? I'm not dead! I don't know. How many times... How long is it going to take before you realize you are dead? 
are you so happy? You're acting like you want me to be dead. Uh, that's not what I meant. If you still think this is a dream, then why are you trying to pay off your sins to begin with? I couldn't put an end to my nightmare, even after defeating the Netherworld President, those aliens, and Fear the Great. So, I changed my mind and figured I might as well try to pay off my sins as a printy. I mean, what else is there for me to do? Well, I think I do have like 14 million dollars. So we're probably going to need more to pay off her sins. Well, then again, I don't really know what she was like in a, as a person. All I know is she wanted to take over the world, but unless she actually did something like that, I don't see how it could... Well, aside from changing your mind... I really hope you're not hearing all the squeaking I'm hearing from my headphones. Basically, you've decided to take the righteous path as a printy. But, Fuka, you have to understand one thing. Prinnies pay off their sins by earning money through work. She's not gonna understand that. Sure, the Mint makes a lot of money, but working there doesn't mean that you will earn a lot of money. She's not looking to work there. Oh, I knew that. That's why I've decided to collect money from there. And... Boom goes the dynamite. What? Do you even know what that means? That by trying to pay off her sins, she's going to steal money and rob people. Someone should explain to her the term irony. Don't be so rude. Of course I do. Sort of. I've saved the Netherworld a bunch of times, but I haven't gotten paid for any of it. Yeah, you think there would be some compensation. Maybe not for the Netherworld president. Well, I don't know. We could still kill Axel. Well, no, that would be a reward in itself. So, I'm just gonna go collect what's owed to me. That's what collecting is, right? No. Ooh, Desco thinks that Big Sis actually gets it. What? Oh, well, you may be right. But even if you are justified, the security system at the Mint is one of the toughest ever built. Yeah, that's one thing I'm kind of worried about, is I have no idea what level these guys are going to be at. So, I don't know if I'm going to have to, like, try and... Holy crap, it's been 12 minutes. I'm going to have to, uh... See what the levels are and see if I need to grind. Well, apparently I have my own episode here, so... Don't have to worry about that. It's not going to be as easy as you think. Hmm. That's why I'm talking to you, Artina. Seeing as how you're a professional repo lady, you should help me. Had an itch in my ear. What? Are you telling me to help you pull a heist? As an angel, I couldn't possibly do that. Oh, yeah? You haven't returned to Celestia because you aren't done collecting money from the Netherworld, right? If you're here just to collect money, then this is one of the best opportunities you're ever gonna get. Wait, do I only have access to Artina, Fuka, and Desco? Or, are you hanging out in the Netherworld because you don't want to leave Bowsy? Is it love? Oh, a forbidden love between a demon and angel? Is it more exciting because it's taboo? No, I'm here to collect. The Netherworld still owes Celestia about 199,900 million health. You've only repaid a hundred thousand, a hundred million hell. That's Probably so assume. much. What are we waiting for? We need to hurry. Oh, well, no. The Netherworld is just starting to recover, so we don't need to. Oh, really? So you're just taking your time, hanging out with Bowsy? Quick, onto the mint. It feels like I'm being coerced into doing this, but whatever. It'll be my pleasure to help you. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that uh, the flashback episode happens before this one starts, because to be honest with the story, as in terms of the storyline, it doesn't really matter. It's just the, them having a conversation in a room. That's the only real plot development. <gasps> Yay! With our Tina on our side, we're gonna get that money for sure. Why? You two combined is more powerful than three Artinas. I'm just basing that completely off levels. It, is that a compliment, or...? Oh, right! Then the three of us together are the beautiful Phantom Thief Girls! F Phantom 
phantom thief. Don't forget, we're just going to collect. Your words are falling on deaf ears, so. <laughs> Beautiful Phantom Thieves! 